Good evening, good evening, good evening. <sighs> okay, so I am finishing up fall samples. Um, got the girls down eh, about a half hour ago. So uh, A plus for me. So I figure while I'm waiting for the next bar to melt, um, I'd pop in here and do some empties with you guys. So we literally only have a few days left to go where we can add to our clubs before that retired list locks everything back into the vault. So I figured now is a really good time to go through what I've been warming through this week with you guys. And my hair is being all funky today. I'm like, oh, look at that little like pointy horn thing I got going on. Sorry. Um, so anyhow, um, right up top, we have a tub of washer whips and windowsill breeze. Um, I was coupling that still with that ocean laundry. So I had some of the whiffs left um, from my windowsill breeze um, laundry liquid. It, it still smells so pretty, you guys. Um, but when ocean came in, I kind of kind of flopped over, but I had like, I don't know, a little bit of a tub left because like I said, I usually get two tubs of whiffs. So I've been coupling that with the ocean laundry liquid. I still have a little bit of that left, but I have a small tub of windowsill breeze. So I don't like that combo nearly as much as I like Luna. I kind of feel like the windowsill breeze was overtaking the ocean, but you know, that's okay. It is a really, really nice laundry fragrance. And then next up for our testing is black raspberry vanilla. So we'll see how that goes. Um, filled my bin of cotton cleanup. So I didn't use this entire package um, in a week, you guys, I promise. And it goes through 25 cotton cleanups in a week. But I found this cute little like basket stand thing at Michael's. It was actually like for, for plants, but I kill plants. So it works better for my cotton cleanups and it just looks cute when it's all like full and they're in there and they're white and they're fluffy and I like them. So um, refilled my bin there. Um, I actually went through this a couple weeks ago. This is a sugar scrub in Luna, and I just kept forgetting to bring it down and take it out of my bathroom. I did clean out the tub, so I can't really smell any of it now, but I've been using Mahalo Coconut for the last couple weeks, but I love our sugar scrubs. <clears throat> the one thing I will say, though, is you got to give it a good stir with your finger every single time because those sugar crystals will sink to the bottom. Ugh, but I love it. I love to use it on my legs before shaving. Gives a nice, good exfoliation. I feel like I get a much smoother, closer, longer lasting shave. And then I use it on my face, you guys. Um, and I have noticed since I've started using it, like the breakouts have pretty much stopped almost entirely. And I know that some people were concerned like getting fragrance oil on their face would be bad for it, but I really think like really get exfoliating your skin and getting all the muck out and the dirt out and the, the grossness out because I'm in my mid thirties and I still broke out all the time, but I have not been breaking out um, since I started like washing my face with our sugar scrub, which is awesome. So, um, oh, we've got another thing. I've cotton cleanups in here, so I might have finished off a pack of cotton cleanups and, and tossed the top in here before I got the, the bucket officially and then had to top it up. <clears throat> you know, when you have like 17 warmers on your main floor, you go through them quite, a, you go through them quite quickly. So uh, another non-wax. We have a uh, dryer bar also in windowsill breeze. I have dryer bars in ocean. I did manage to get those, but... I'm not sure what basket they ended up in <laughs> because if I'm not the one switching out the loads, they just scoop everything from the dryer and then I have to go on a dryer bar hunt, but that's okay. It beats finding uh, dryer sheets all over my house like I used to. So I think everything else in, oh, no, we got some pods down in the bottom. So I went through two pods of Pina Colada Cha Cha. These were in the downstairs bathroom. It's very, very faint. Um, but they were, they did good. They lasted a good couple weeks for me. And then I replaced them with Honeymoon Hideaway, which I am sad to say, I cannot smell it in wax. I cannot smell it in the pods. Um, the pods technically are not dead. So if I like sniff the pods in Honeymoon Hideaway, um, I can still get some fragrance out of them. But I, I popped Luna in the other day and put the Honeymoon Hideaway pods into its clamshell because... I, I'm getting absolutely nothing out of these. Um, unfortunately, like I know some people get good performance from Honeymoon Hideaway. I personally get nothing, nothing at all. Um, okay, so 
there I think there's an oil down buried in the bottom here somewhere for us to talk about no I didn't get to use an entire bottle of oil it did spill out um, too empty it was one I was using but I'll do wax first and when we find the oil we'll talk about that so first up is spearmint 626 stitch 626 this is this is just a really beautiful clean it's a clean scent it's so good I absolutely love this it's got like this little hint of like Hawaiian floral in it from that Hawaiian lay it's just it's in my club it will stay there forever and ever um next up okay so I did try out the prickly pear and agave <coughs> that was recommended to me uh well recommended in general not specifically to me sorry um by Melissa Johnson and this is really pretty but it does not last not at all like i put this in my warmers and i had i used two bars of it, you guys because i want to you know when i'm trying out a new scent and i want to see if it's like totally club worthy because this one is retiring um i put it through the whole downstairs so i go through two bars of wax to fill the entire downstairs and i smelled it for maybe two hours i want to be in love with this because it smells so pretty on cold i will also say that there was something kind of funky about it when it was warming that it was just a little off-putting. Now, I could see this being really, really great in the body care, which is also leaving us. So, like, I, I, I debated with myself, you guys. I could either pick up pink cotton, which I know I absolutely love in the retiring body line, or I could pick up prickly pear and agave. I went with pink cotton because I was afraid, I'll be honest with you, I was afraid that that funky, like, thing it has going on while warming might come through in the body and I did not want that to happen so um, pink cotton is my goodbye for now set that I picked up on body uh, the other one leaving us is now in Zen which I love I love I love I love I have it in lotion I have it in hand cream I've had it in fragrance mist I really it's like it's this really nice clean um, scent but I did I I've been dying to try pink cotton. It's been on my list and it kept getting bumped and kept getting bumped. And now here I am because her body products last forever. So don't buy it a lot. Uh, but now here we are where I'm going to have to say goodbye to it. And I'm like, I can't let it leave without at least trying it um, before it goes. So, um, you know what? We'll do moments, moment by moment collection all together. So um, I did stitch through the whole house. So like I said, two bars. God, I love stitch. Um, <laughs> what I'm doing in the whole house, it's two bars. So let's see. Um, next one up was Vanilla Waves. So I did my favorite mixer with Vanilla Waves um, for the moment, which is with Mocha Doodle. So it gives it like this caramel latte kind of thing. It's like this really high-end Starbucks coffee feel. It lasts for days. This combo, they're both really, really good. And they do last for days. So I usually get about three days out of them and then I get bored and I have to switch it out. So I don't mind when a scent only lasts a day or so, um, maybe two days at max because by then I'm like bored or I'm nose blind and I wanna switch it anyway. So um, I did a bar of Plum in White Woods. <sighs> this is from the last fall, bring back my bar, you guys. So voting is going on right now. Hi, Squish. <laughs> Voting is going on right now, and this is so good. So there are so many gems in there. I know there are like 200 fragrances to choose from, and it's so hard to like just pick five. Um, I personally have been voting like a crazy lady for Zeppelin. And she has. <laughs> and while it has not yet made it into that top 20 list because they did a, a standing update this afternoon, um, I totally spaced in my excitement of bring back Martin Bauer coming back um, to tell you guys that if you have a club or if you want a club there are going to be 10 bonus bars for Scentsy Club members only so I am really really hoping no you have lavender and white balsam in your room yeah but I like that one too because you put it around the house and it can smell in the garage yeah this one is here, right? huh we have Hulu down here we do have Hulu down here cool thanks you're welcome <laughs> so anyhow um oh it might not be logged in you might have to use the big room Which one, big the bit the big room because i just that other fire stick was dying 
so we just replaced it and I don't think I've logged everything in just yet. So, okay, sorry. So in my excitement, like I said, for Bring Back My Bars starting again um, and having an opportunity to vote for my Zeppelin, I forgot to mention you <laughs> mention that to you guys. But what I'm hoping is that even if Zeppelin, which is like my, my very first fall in love with Scentsy Bar um, next to my dear Watson, those were a pair and I always bought the two of them together usually. Um, and we're dating it back like, 10 years now, <laughs> like a decade ago, it was my favorite. Um, I am hoping that it will at least make the list if I vote for it enough, where I could at very bare minimum put it into my club. So your girl's gonna keep voting and keep voting and keep voting. Um, I'm actually voting on three devices, my computer, my cell phone, and my iPad. <laughs> and it will let me split votes between Safari and Chrome and Internet Explorer. So I'm like bouncing around. I'm like voting my butt off for Zeppelin. But, you know, I'm also fighting the entire U.S. or everybody who's voting in the U.S. and Canada. So all of what we call Region 1. I'm, I'm battling against thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people to try to get one bar back. Just one. I just want one. So <laughs> um, what else did we do? Uh, we did, I did French lavender upstairs yesterday. So yeah, I put this back. I, I did put this into my club. You guys saw it really like it only lasts one day, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's really, it's just straight like this gorgeous, really strong herbal lavender. Well, it's not really, it's, it's really strong for being lavender. Let me put it that way. Um, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's calming. I love it in my bedroom. I, I can't live without it. Um, let's see what else did I do? I did bar of squeeze the day. Um, this, I do love this fragrance. I love this fragrance so much, but I love it mostly in our clean line. So, um, because I've been using squeeze, like squeeze the day is like my go-to fragrance in our clean line. Although I'm really enjoying Johnny Appleseed right now. Um, it's really good in wax, but I really like it better in the clean line. It just like it, that bright zingy lemon just feels more cleaning to me, I guess. Um, did a bar of coconut daiquiri because I knew I had two bars of coconut daiquiri in my club and I was trying to make club decisions and I was thinking maybe, maybe this one can go because it does, I mean like it, it lasts most of the day. It doesn't last all of the day. I, I'm not ready to get rid of it just yet. So I took it from two bars down to one. So that was my adjustment for coconut daiquiri to make some space for my other stuff. It is really, really pretty. It doesn't last terribly long. But like I said, that's okay with me because I get bored. Um, and I matched that up with, where is it? Tangerine creamsicle. So, um, like I try to keep things semi, like these two fragrances, like they go together, they mesh well together. And if I don't want to do the whole house in something, I try to find something that complements it uh, because they will run together, obviously, because it's one continuous stretch through the middle and they do go together really well and I do like tangerine creamsicle um this was this was one again I was on the fence about putting in my club it didn't make the cut because it's just not strong enough for me I mean it's very nice it's very light like I can almost see this kind of being like a bedroom scent um and it would probably do better like upstairs versus downstairs. But if I'm doing something like, I don't tend to melt citrus in our bedrooms. I tend to stick with something more woodsy or musky or, you know, like lavender or like along those calming lines, not quite so zingy. It's really pretty, but if it doesn't come back, I'm not gonna die without it. So it just didn't make the cut for, the cut for club. Um, let's see, that's moments by moments. I wanna do those all together. Um, like I was just talking about with Lex, this is her bar of lavender and white balsam. This is what was in her room. So you can see like, we may have a thing for lavender in this house quite a bit. Um, both of us, she's basically just a mini me uh, when it comes to all kinds of things, fragrance being one of them. 
And this is just lavender and pine. It will never leave my club. I, I can never, I can't part with this. I love it. She loves it. Ugh, it's just beautiful. Um, I did do a bar of Bloomin' Beach. So I had thrown this into my club. Wanted to get another bar of it or another couple bars of it. I've since taken it out. It's nice. Um, it's, it's very, it's more floral than I tend to lean towards, which is, I guess, odd. But it, it doesn't come through as like that straight rose when it's warming like it does in the clamshell. So it was pretty, it was nice. It's not something that I would be like absolutely heartbroken without, so it did get the boot. <sighs> last bar out was, um, well, it's not technically the last bar out, but the last like solo bar out um, is this, is what is it, Radiator Springs? So it's Radiator Springs. Um, it's got like this cherry limeade feel to me, and I know it's like cherry and lemon, but I really, really get lime and you can see when it was shipping because those red bars, for some reason, something to do with like the red coloring on it, they get real gooey real quick um, when it's warm. So this is really, really pretty. It lasts almost a full day for me as long as this is the only thing that I've got going and it's not competing with anything because I've heard a lot of people say that like it lasts a couple hours and then it's gone. I, it, it lasts a little bit longer for me. We did, we do enjoy this. Um, it's total, it's not club worthy for me, but um, I think I might have grabbed an extra bar when I picked up the new Genie fragrances. Just because of all of them, I do, I enjoyed it. I could do another bar of it. And then we have the bottle of Awesome Apple, which I, you know, I think I diffused this like once because. It's got like this strong, it's supposed to be just straight apple, but I'll be honest with you guys, it's got this really strong like spice smell, like fall spice smell to me, which is, you know, fine, but I was saving it for fall, but it got tipped and it leaked everywhere and now the bottle is empty. So I may or may not pick up another one of these, um, but it, these oils last forever. I'm gonna have to start talking about my oils, about what I've been diffusing because I can't go through them fast enough to make it into my empties bin, just like with my room sprays. You know, I've got a, you know them scattered about the house. So you know each bathroom has got a room spray, by the kitchen has got a room spray, by the cat litter box has got a room spray. Like I've got several room sprays going. I just don't go through them fast enough to put them into my basket. So um, at least with the oils, we can discuss what I've been diffusing um, if I remember to grab them. So I will try to remember that for next time. So the collection here, the, the moments by moments collection here. We are going to talk about them backwards from my least favorite to my most favorite. And I just got to organize them here. Or I'll just spread them out. I know which one they are. Okay, so first up, Welcome Little One. Um, it smells a lot prettier in the clamshell than it does warming, I'll be honest with you guys. So I already kind of had a feeling I wasn't going to like this one. And it kind of gives me like that true level weights vibes. So I did put it into the girls' room because Haley likes them funky scents. I'm sorry, she does. Um she she just does and i like i walked into the room to put away laundry and it was going and i was like it smells like bug spray i don't i'm the only person who seems to not like be thrilled about welcome little one but like i walked in there and i'm like why does the room smell like bug spray and i'm like oh my god it's that it's that wax it's terrible so i really like and they've only got two warmers in their room guys i was like doubling up cubes to get rid of these for days um and I was kind of hoping like, oh, maybe I'll get used to it. And maybe I'll like it. And I just, oh God, I can't. I'm glad it's gone. I absolutely cannot. I'm glad it's gone. Um, this one makes me so sad to put it in, you know, next to last, which is down the aisle. Because when I smelled this, like in this, it's so pretty. It's just like, it's so pretty and it's so beautiful. And I want to smell it but I didn't smell a thing, not a single thing. I had a whole bar, the whole bar going in my room because we've now added um, 
the moon over Jupiter warmer into our room, which is a bright one. So he turns it off at night like a lamp almost. So I turn it on in the morning when I wake up, he turns it off when he goes to bed. Um, because he needed it right there. <laughs> That's how much he loves it. Um, and Moon Over Jupiter is about to leave us. So seriously, do not wait on that one. It's, it's, it's grown on me. Like I now appreciate the piece. It was not on my wish list. And as I'm like seeing it and everything, and I turn it on in the morning, I'm like, this is this is really pretty. So it did grow on me. Um, so I am glad that he you know can steer me in some other directions of what I normally would have gotten. But so down the aisle, I wanted it. I wanted it bad if they put this in like body care or something I could see you know just something I can smell it in because melting I got nothing nothing at all makes me sad <sighs> birthday wishes um I'm like I I want to like this I want to like this too it was a struggle for me. So I know that this is just supposed to be like vanilla and fun confetti cake. When this was warming for the first half of the day, I was getting like this, it, and, and maybe it's just me, maybe it's my house, maybe it's my nose, I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to give it a second, second shot, but I'm terrified too, you guys. I get this like horrible spice, like this super strong like nose, offending spice once the spice portion of it wore off whatever it is that makes it that spicy it was really nice um i don't mind vanilla cake smells i actually like them <coughs> um i'm finding that i like some of the bakery um my nose is, is changing as i'm trying new things like this doesn't smell bad in the clam i don't get that big heavy spice in the clam and if it was just like that all day all the way through I would have no problems with this but it like it was just there was something about it for like the first several hours that was just like what is that so I don't know happy birthday which is the one um that everybody talks about over and over and over again about it being like this vanilla cake with chocolate frosting that is currently up for vote in bring back my bar I am hoping that gets voted back in so I can kind of compare the two but for now, birthday wishes is not, not going to be a repurchase. Um, next one up, happy new home. So this one is different. It's like this citrus laundry smell. Um, I would try this one again. Um, I put it in the kitchen thinking that, oh, that's where I would like the citrus at. But that laundry smell really, really starts to shine through. It is an excellent performer. Really knocks your socks off. Um, I think if I were to get another bar of this, I would probably put it in one of the larger spaces. I think our kitchen is a little too small of a space for this, being the powerhouse, like the laundry powerhouse that it is, or like maybe just keeping it isolated to the laundry room or something along those lines. But Happy New Home was a really good performer. It's I didn't hate it the way that I absolutely hated Welcome Little One, um, but it, it was it club worthy for me? No, not really. Because I could see like being able to recreate this with like Clean Breeze and a Sunkissed Citrus mix. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's like a combo of Sunkissed Citrus and Clean Breeze. So it's nice. I, I, would, I would get one more bar of it and give it another try in a different space. But you guys, the gem in this collection for me was graduation. So I already did my club edit, so you already kind of knew that. But you got, this was so pretty. This, um, it does smell a little funky in the clam. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie about that. Like when I first sniffed it, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. And then I put it into the warmers upstairs in my bedroom and it went for days and days. And after, on day four, it was still going and I took it out because I'm like, I have got to do something different in here. Uh, not that I don't, I don't love it. I did love it. But, you know, after, after four, you know, four days, I get bored um, and I want to smell something new. And I wanted to, you know, put my French lavender in and just like literally the only two things that we've melted in our bedroom in the past week is this and then the, the French lavender bar. That was it. I, I didn't need to put another bar upstairs. This 
was so pretty and so subtle. I mean, it's not like this knock your socks off fragrance. Like you walk into the room, you're like, oh my God, what smells so, it smells so good in here. This is so nice. It's got like this romantic musky. It's just very subtle. It's not a powerhouse. I'd say it's probably low end of medium, but there's just something about it. Like it immediately grabs your attention when you enter the room. And it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. It went into my club. It will stay there because there's nothing. I get kind of like Pacific sandalwood vibes from this. And it's, it's just beautiful. So it's really, really good. So that is what we have gotten through this week. Um, I am currently melting through fall bars. I'm not going to give a review <laughs> on those from making samples because it's like one bar after the other after the other. So <laughs> like I don't, I'm not getting to enjoy it. I'm not getting to, um, you know, really give it a... Okay, I love you, honey. Not really able to give them a fair shake when I'm going through them as quick as I am. So Nanny says hi. Hi. She says hi back. <laughs> So what I've done, like I do with all of my new bars, I am taking the first five cubes. Those are what are, we're you know, using to make samples and I will use the three cubes to put into a room to do a warm review on. So the ones that are stronger will obviously go in the big room. The ones that are lighter will go upstairs um, into a bedroom because there are a couple of them that are a little bit lighter, but I will say pomegranate Prosecco surprised me while I was warming it so far. Um, like sniffing it on cold and everything like that. Like I thought for sure it was going to be just kind of light, kind of a bedroom set. It's a good solid medium. I'll give it that because, you know, we were, you know, I popped it into melt. We sat down and had dinner and then I came back in here and I was like, wow, that is actually doing way better than I expected. So that one got to sit a little bit longer and kind of flow through my entry slash office space. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's where my desk is. Let's go with that. Um, and I was really, really pleasantly surprised with that. So I still think it will do bangerang upstairs, um, but I'll probably give that one a try in the, the open concept. But, you know, like I said, I'm not going to give a full review on all the fall bars because I want to make sure that I give them a fair and even shake. Um, but I am going to go back to what I was doing because that should be melted by now. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.